uh, a gentleman who was of German descent who was studying at MSU. And the article discusses the fact that as you look at the Spartan, you see a very successful, progressive, physically fit, forward-stepping member of the Aryan race. He looked at Sparty and saw something that would have been approved of by the leaders of Germany at that time. In talking to Mr. Youngworth's daughter, though, I can assure you that he was a little concerned himself about what was going on in Germany in the 1930s. As an artist, he was very, very interested in landscapes and in the, the built structure. And he took pictures everywhere when he went, brought the photos home, and they became part of the family collection. When World War II started, he was so concerned because of his time he had spent in Germany and his German roots, he actually turned them over to the national government and went above and beyond to try to reassure them that he was not interested in the German cause, even going so far as to teach classes at MSU outside of the art department. Uh, he taught physics at one point for, uh, for soldiers that were training at MSU. It's very interesting. And his son-in-law told me that as you look at the photos, you can date them without even knowing when they were taken. Now, of course, it's always difficult for an artist to be able to make his own way in the world, but this was a time when everyone was struggling. Thankfully, he was able to connect with the Works of Progress Administration, the WPA, which began employing artists in the mid-1930s. The idea for the artist project was said to have come from George Biddle, who was a personal friend and classmate of FDR. He had spent some time traveling in Mexico, and he was very interested in a large public mural program that was going on there. And he was very interested to see if something of this sort could be replicated in America. However, the program went far beyond murals. The eventual WPA arts program uh, encompassed music, theater, art, and writing projects, employing about 15,000 artists. The facade of the Alumni Memorial Chapel, of course, built as a tribute to veterans who served from MSU during the wars. This building actually incorporates stone and glass from several ruined churches in Europe from those conflicts. And I think it's so interesting that someone who trained in Europe came from a strong uh, traditional European family that he was helping incorporate some of this into a structure here in East Lansing. Life size. 
She said it is beautiful. It's set primarily with diamonds and topaz. And she said, I'd love to tell you where it is, except the church is actually always a little afraid <laughs> to have too many people know about it. Um, this church, unfortunately, has suffered um, some uh, attempts, uh, some breaking and enterings in the past. And they have lost other pieces. They have never lost the crown. And she said, I am reluctant to have it publicly known where it is for fear that the next time it might not survive if the church is again targeted. But what a phenomenal piece.